Let me share with you an amazing story about the price we pay for love. The biggest excitement in Clive's life was sitting at the same table, in the same pub, on the same evening, every week with the same cronies, creating adventures that they would never experience in places they would never visit. Beyond that, he was a slightly dumpy professor who shared a cluttered cottage with his bachelor brother. Then Clive's life was, was turned upside down by a visiting professor, an author from America. Joy would give him the greatest happiness in his life, only to leave him with unbearable grief. The two were polar opposites. She was a recent divorcee. He was a confirmed bachelor. Where he was stodgy, she was flamboyant. He was boringly conventional. She loved to flout tradition. He was a staunch Anglican. She jumped impulsively from Judaism to communism to evangelicalism. Yet Joy and Clive formed a, a deep friendship that eventually blossomed into love. But just when the 58-year-old bachelor ratcheted up his courage to propose, she discovered that she had terminal bone cancer. He wanted to call off the wedding, insisting that losing a wife would be just too painful. Joy responded, the extent to which we love each other now is the extent to which we will feel pain after I'm gone. That's the deal. It took Clive several days to realize that having Joy now was worth the pain later. On March 21st, 1957, they were married in her hospital room. The next years were deliriously happy. Then she died plunging him into suicidal despair that, that almost destroyed his faith. He later wrote, I not only live each endless day in grief, but live each day thinking about living each day in grief. Three years after cancer stole joy, he collapsed in his bedroom and died. The world hardly noticed the passing of this author of the Chronicles of Narnia because a young American president was assassinated in Dallas on the same day. But 54 years later, C.S. Lewis is remembered as a giant who changed the landscape of literature. Maybe you're facing the loss of someone or something very special, or grieving for a loss already suffered. Well, you might take solace from Joy Davidman's deal. The pain of your loss is living proof of the joy you possessed. This is another amazing story from history. History, his story. God's story. His story is really your story too. So go out and write another chapter in your story, even if it brings pain. Remembering what C.S. Lewis discovered, the pain of your loss is living proof of the joy you possessed. If you'd like to learn more about ordinary people with extraordinary achievements, small people who defeat the mighty, unlikely people God uses for his purposes. Go to robertapeterson.org and order the Book of Amazing Stories. You'll be inspired and amazed.